Hi all, so if you're thinking at the moment that you didn't subscribe for this kind of content exactly, well, I'd like to promise that it won't happen again. Probably. However, over the past year or so, I have been dared on multiple occasions to do some form of a lush haul. So to put an end to all of that, here is my grand lush haul. Just to begin with, all of the products that I'm going to mention are skincare products and not the bath bombs and stuff like that. So if you were expecting that, well, I apologize. Okay, so to begin with, we've got Lush's most popular product, which is Dream Cream, which is advertised as a hand and body lotion. However, many people, including myself, over the years have used it as a face cream, and it's actually really good at that. So for a huge 240 um, gram tub like this, um, I bought it about a year ago. Um, I've still got a little bit on the bottom, which is good. Um, it costs about $30. So the main ingredient of Dream Cream is oats, which means that it's really good for damaged skin, and also people with eczema. And um, it also, as a plus, smells really, really properly nice. However, if you are going to use it as a facial cream or use it anywhere really, I suggest that you use it as a night cream rather than a day cream because it applies really, really thickly, um, takes quite a long time to dry despite what the packaging may say and um, it makes your skin look really oily and weird and feel greasy but, um, but it's really effective and um, it's a good product. So the second thing I'd like to talk about is Dark Angels, which is um, about $50, I think, for a 240 gram tub. However, this one is a 100 gram tub, which is much smaller. So basically, it's one of the most effective facial cleansers that I've used. Um, as you can see, it looks completely black. Um, hence the name. And unlike most facial scrubs or cleansers that you may come across, it's actually a solid. However, obviously don't apply it as a solid, as um, you're supposed to put a little bit in your palm, mix it with water, and then turn it into a paste before applying it to your face. So it contains um, this sort of mud, which I won't bother trying to um, pronounce, as I have no clue, um, charcoal, black sugar, and among other products to create a cleanser that's also really good at exfoliating the skin and after you use it, your skin feels really refreshed and great. However, I recommend that you only use it about once or twice a week as it's actually pretty harsh on the skin but um, is really effective nevertheless. Word of warning, however, when you use it, it does turn your sink completely black and um, it's really quite messy to use. So if you're going to use it, perhaps use it in the shower or something like that. And the next product I have to show you is Fresh Pharmacy. And this is quite a used version, as you can see. And you might be able to tell that it's also a face cleanser. However, in the shape of a bar. So the main ingredient of Fresh Pharmacy is calamine, which means it's really soothing for the skin. And it's particularly effective for spots if you're having acne problems like me. Because it's so gentle, this is something that you could use twice a day even and um, and while they suggest that you rub it against your palm to create a white froth before applying it to your face I've actually found it far more effective to actually rub it directly onto a wet face um, as it's almost acts like a scrub if you do that and um, yeah you just get more product off and um, it smells really nice as well however um, you should wash it off quite soon after you apply it otherwise your face becomes really hard and icky so um remember to do that kids the next product I have is the cold face cleanser which is also um, a facial cleanser bar thing so basically it contains charcoal and licorice and smells almost the same as dark angels which I showed you earlier and um, I think as a pair they go really well together so if you want to you could use this once or twice a week and while using this the rest of the time. So you apply it a lot like um, Fresh Pharmacy before, however this is a little bit more coarse and uh, I found isn't quite as effective for treating acne and um, is a bit crumblier as well. However I found that this is a really good body um, scrub, although it's advertised to be for the face. So um, so the next product we have is my favourite moisturiser of all time and it's Vanishing Cream. And um, this is a product that is sold out almost all of the time because I'm guessing, I'm guessing because it's really good. One downside to this is the cost. And for 45 grams of it, which is 
absolutely tiny, it costs $40. So a few years ago, I couldn't have imagined spending this much money on a moisturizer, but this is really, really effective. Not only does it smell really nice with tones of lavender, but it's really, really light and it sinks into your skin extremely quickly. That means that it's a really good moisturizer for oily or combination skin, which is what I have. And unlike most moisturizers, it won't help to create more acne, which is good. So when there isn't any vanishing cream to use, or if you're on a bit more of a budget, I like to use Cosmetic Lad, which is also a fairly light moisturizer, which I think is made for guys, but I suppose girls can use it too. So this also smells of lavender, but has small tones of wheatgrass, and although is also a quite light moisturizer, as guys generally have oilier skin than girls, this is also good to use post shaving. It's a bit thicker than vanishing cream, but um, it does basically the same job and is I think about $10 cheaper. So while it's still expensive, it's um, a nice budget option to vanishing cream. So what I have next is my favorite facial cleanser and it's Herbalism. If we open it, you may realize that it's this green squidgy solid thing and um, when you apply it, in the same way that you would with Dark Angels, you look like that you're in the cast of Wicked, which may or may not be a good thing depending on your preferences. So they say that it's a purifying and exfoliating herbal face wash, but I sort of disagree with the exfoliating part of that as it's really soft and squidgy and you don't really get any of the exfoliating action that you would from something like Dark Angels. But it's really good if you have um, problematic oily skin like me. Apart from herbs, it consists largely of almonds. However, it doesn't exactly smell like either herbs or almonds as it smells more like bread with vinegar. And to be honest, it took me quite a while to get used to the um, smell as many people find it extremely repulsive. But once you get used to it, it's just really, really effective and it's basically my go-to facial cleanser um, along <laughs> with all the others, but this is my main one. So the next one I'm going to talk about is Cosmetic Warrior, which is a face mask. However, because it's a face mask and the sort which you have to put in a fridge, I've forgotten to bring it here. However, it does look um, a bit like Cosmetic Lad, I suppose. Um, it comes in a tub similar to this. However, instead of being a fine, white, gooey paste, it's more of a thick, inconsistent thing. So Lush Describer as a superhero face mask that's used to combat spots and that's basically true. So if you're having the absolute worst outbreak of spots, this is a really good product to use. However, for a little tub like this, which is only equivalent to four to six applications probably, um, it does cost about $20, which is rather dear. And it's made of fresh ingredients with no preservatives, so you have to use it within the two weeks, otherwise it goes bad and you have to throw it away. And because it's quite expensive, I would say that's a bit of a waste of money. So if you decide to have a little sniff of Cosmetic Warrior, then I apologize for the stink it makes because it smells of garlic and eggs. And, and while they are free range eggs apparently, um, this does mean that it's not a vegan product unlike most of them, which is unfortunate if you're vegan, but if you're not, then it's a pretty good product for if you have the worst outbreak of acne ever. So the next product is Tea tree water, which is a pretty good toner. So um, this is quite affordable. It's under $20, I think, for a um, bottle this large, which is 250 grams, and it basically lasts forever. I've had this for quite a while now. And um, it's a toner, which means if you spray it, it really does calm down your face. Tea tree water is a, a good antibacterial um, substance thing. And um, basically, if you're having really irritable um, skin, you can just spray this on and you'll be fixed for the next few hours or so before reapplying it again. Apparently you're supposed to spray this on some cotton pads and then apply it to your face, but I honestly have no idea where to buy cotton pads, so um, I just spray it directly and it's quite a pleasant sensation and it still works quite well, so this is good. However, if you have an acne problem like me, um, after applying this, you should apply some Vanishing app, which used to be called Grease Lightning. Um, Grease Lightning, I think, is the English name for the product, and we've recently got the um, American one for some reason. So basically, it's um, a spot treatment that's to be used in conjunction with tea tree water. So after applying the tea tree water, you basically squeeze a bit of this out, which is like this clear, gooey gel thing, and you just apply it onto your spot, 
and it works pretty well. Unlike most products of this kind, it actually doesn't damage the skin at all. However, because it doesn't have any of the really strong um, anti-acne ingredients, so you can apply as many times as you want to without damaging your skin and leaving you with really hideous acne scars. Personally, I haven't found this one to be that effective, but um, on the plus side, it's pretty cheap. And, um, and I don't know, it might be good for some people, as reviews for this have generally been really positive. So the last product I have here, and also perhaps my least favourite, is Ocean Salt. And while it's one of Lush's most popular products, um, they call it a face and body scrub, but I'd like to correct that and say that it's a very, very occasional face and body scrub because it is so incredibly harsh on the skin. So while it contains um, limes and avocado, avocado in particular, which is actually really gentle on the skin and makes the whole thing smell absolutely gorgeous and really refreshing like um, the ocean, I suppose. It also contains salt, hence the name, and this just makes it really, really uncomfortable and harsh when you apply it on your skin. And on my skin at least, it makes my skin feel really tingly and irritable, which is um, a bit of a problem I suppose. However, recently they've changed the formula and I've had a go with it and it's basically the same still. Apparently they've made the salt a little bit finer, but it still feels relatively harsh. And, um, and um, so if you're going to buy this, just remember that it's probably going to be a really, really occasional product. And um, however, it does look and smell absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to, I don't know, just smell it, um, that's the product for you, Ocean Salt. And so that brings us to the end of our fabulous Lush haul. Be sure to like, subscribe, and particularly comment if you want to see more content like this. Otherwise, I probably won't make one again, as I am, it's not really my kind of thing, probably. It might turn into my sort of thing, but just remember to comment if you have an opinion on this video. And um, you can check my last week's video out in the description below, and Social media links are there as well. And on that note, toodaloo!